Good morning. Today is smack dab the middle of March, and I want to thank everybody for being a member of my Patreon page. We planted these the first day of March, so these are 15 days old, and these are different kinds of tomatoes. We have big beef, tomato, a landres I named Selena, um, a beef steak, and a big beef. So some of these are, are um, tomatoes that I grew. And most of them are just common varieties. And then we have the peppers here. And as you can see, they have not come up yet. But all these tags back here are different kinds of peppers. So if we get a good close-up of what's happening here, we can see that uh, they're really not coming up yet. This one right here, this looks like a, a, an amaranth red root, probably. So right there, this cell... Oh, I just about killed it. Whoops. <laughs> Such is the life of a poor seedling with my big old finger. Um, that one's coming up. So that is a pepper right here, this one right there. That's a pepper. And then I see one more right over here coming up. And then here's a weed right here. So we're going to take that weed out. I'm not worried about him too much. But so those are the ones that are just barely starting to germinate. So that's kind of how they look. So I've had people in the past say, my peppers are not coming up. They're dead. Uh, and uh, they say, but my tomatoes are great. Well, how long have you had them planted? And they say, oh, a couple of weeks. Well, it can take peppers longer to come up. That's just the way it is. So we can be patient. And then here we have an assortment of um, brassicas. Uh, the broccoli and cabbage here coming up and then in the middle we have cilantro and it takes longer to come up so it's, it's not coming up yet and then back here we have beets there an assortment of beets and then on the end you can see the yellow stems that is rainbow chard and over here i planted some uh, romaine lettuce and every cell sh <coughs> should be coming up so I have pretty bad germ germination there. Um, and I put, I wanted to grow these into head lettuce. And so I only put one seed per plug. And so that's why um, you can see one coming out of each one. And then the ones that aren't coming up probably won't come up. And then we have some dill coming up here. One row of dill. And then we have radishes. So there's the radishes. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, you know... 15 days in after you've planted and then we'll pop up to the top um, shelf here and uh, by the way you can see outside all the snow we've had more snow fall in this county than has ever been recorded this year somebody told me that the other day which is fascinating so this is the mixed uh, lettuce right here mixed means mixed variety then i have two rows of green onions and then we have spinach. So those long, beautiful cotyledons of spinach are so pretty. And you can see the right in the center of the screen there, you can see the uh, seed hull on top of that, uh, that one cotyledon right, right there. So the, uh, a lot of the seed hulls do that. With most plants, they, they do. Um, not, not the grass family so much, but on the monocots, but most dicots do. If you look over here at the onion, you can see that onion there right by the tag. There's a black thing on top. Those are just the, <laughs> the outer coating of the seed. So when you see those, it's pretty normal. And so that's that. And then here's a tray. Uh, this is more um, onions and more tomatoes. And I just planted these like three days ago because I thought, what if I don't have enough? And then we're just going to peek over here. There's a whole bunch of different other varieties of tomatoes. And the tags here look blank. That's just because they're backwards. So if we turn this around, then you can see, the, see what's here. But these are a bunch of different varieties that I've grown myself. And then we have uh, Walla Walla onions. So most of the onion crop is in the greenhouse now. And I just got to thinking, I'm going to want more onions than I planted. So there is our update 
of the seeds that we planted, this is main crop uh, tomatoes and peppers for this year, and then just normal stuff that I, I normally grow. So hopefully this helps you to have a beautiful propagation house.